all of the drama over the 15 ballot speakership vote, everyone is left wondering, will every major bill in the House be that tightly contested? That includes tomorrow's crucial vote on the new House rules package. It was a major focus of the Republicans who ran McCarthy through the ringer last week. So are we in for another drawn out fight within the GOP? Here's congressional correspondent Julie Sturkin with more. Good morning, Katie. Yeah, that's exactly right. McCarthy may have won his speakership after 15 rounds, but tomorrow the House is going to come back at night to try to pass that rules package. Remember, it's full of concessions that McCarthy had to make to the far right of his party in order to get their support. Uh, it includes things like a motion to vacate. Any one member can essentially call for a no-confidence vote for McCarthy, challenging his speakership for the next two years. When he left the building, though, he did say he will keep that gavel 1,000 thousand percent that was his quote but it will be challenging the speakership vote and this rules package are things that congress needs to do at the beginning of every new congress they're supposed to be the easy parts as one member told me but this is shaping up to be a big fight over the next two years not just on this rules package if he's able to secure those moderates now uh, but also on everything they need to do remember democrats still control the senate but they'll need to do some must-pass items like passing uh, a debt limit uh, increase to the debt ceiling for money that was already spent. Republicans already saying they're not going to help Democrats out on that one. Uh, also things to keep the government open. Democrats are now afraid that because of these concessions McCarthy made, he'll be a weakened leader and essentially uh, fall to the demands of the far right of his party. And remember, Katie, as you know well, he can only afford to lose four seats in the House. So this is going to be really challenging for him as he tries to play both sides, both the moderates and the far right, to see if they can get anything done at all over the next two years.